What a beautiful sight to see. Just a little bit of blue sky there, Sean, just makes your day. Yeah, and the sky, uh, the coloring was so yeah. amazing. Really, really pretty. So yeah, it looks like now the storm definitely starting to wind down a bit. We'll go ahead and look outside and you can see Hillary again winding down. We're really quiet right there. Looks like uh, good news for you and I, Tracy. The S curve looks clear <laughs> as ever. Looks like maybe a lot of people heeding the advice. Now, I don't know if this helps or if it hurts, but a lot of people have been complaining about earthquake on top of Hillary. And I thought I would put this into perspective. We pull away. You can see, oh, hi, you're not being singled out. There is the so-called ring of fire and look how active it is. So we are definitely not alone when it comes to earthquakes all over. You can see the Pacific Rim just very, very tectonically extremely active. So I don't know if that helps or hurts, but you know what? It was at least fun to play with the map a little bit. And there are the rain totals. And again, look how impressive Ventura County and then look how the drop off is. And that's exactly what we kind of expected would happen. We would see these dramatic rain totals and just sort of this line because this storm shot like a uh, right right through the middle of the state almost following uh, about the I-5 corridor if you will and uh, just we were on the edge and if you pull away you can see out towards Santa Clarita and uh, LA and in the deserts uh, getting rain totals upwards of six inches which is just incredibly dramatic for uh, any time of year now the radar is starting to clear up still some um, echoes being returned up in the Central Valley in the Southern Sierra and it looks like all of this will continue to funnel well up into areas that really need the rain. There's a lot of fires to our north, well up in Idaho, Washington, Canada, we know. So this is all part of Mother Nature's plan to get some of that energy from the hot oceans uh, in the form of rain up into our northern latitudes. All right, tropical storm warning really going to keep going to keep it in until tomorrow morning. Also, the aerial flood watches and warnings will stay in effect, even though again, everything has really quieted down. Currently seeing widespread 60s, a few 70s out the central coast. Uh, despite the fact that we had the threat from Hillary, didn't really see any rainfall, and therefore uh, the temperatures were really balmy, and they're still kind of hovering in the balmy range. And you can see how the arrows still kind of twisting their ways up toward the center of the low pressure center, uh, which is now tropical depression, basically just fading out rapidly once the storm leaves the ocean, the heat source. Uh, once it gets cold and then goes on shore, uh, it really starts to die out, and that's exactly what's happening. But boy, look at all the moisture values inland. Usually this time of year, we talk about how bone dry it is, but that's all uh, remnants of Hillary running up again to the north. Now, probably going to be hearing about this in the news. The Atlantic Basin has been very, very quiet look at just off the coast of Africa out in the middle of the Atlantic. We already have Emily. We have Franklin. These X's I put right here, including right off the coast of Florida, uh, all potential systems. So uh, really going to be focusing on that part of the world. Of course, for us, we still have our Hillary issues and active ITCZ to our south. So there are more storm potential for us as well in the eastern Pacific and Hillary again. Now a tropical depression. All the uh, the plots still pointing well to the north. Everybody focused right in this corridor going up into Nevada and then possibly going all the way up into Canada as far as again some much needed moisture. So really uh, these storms have a purpose and there it is. Now we'll go ahead and look at the future cast and Hillary's exiting the region. Some lingering moisture through the morning hours tomorrow but really not a lot to talk about and then maybe some moisture kind of back peddling into the region tomorrow afternoon. Chance for thunder can't be ruled out and again maybe some sprinkles all the way in due to about tomorrow early evening before this thing is finally done, said and done. All right, there is your forecast. Again, the computer is still holding on to the lightning bolt through tomorrow afternoon for Santa Barbara, for the Santa Barbara South Coast as you head farther north and west of Point Conception. Really, we kind of lose all those chances for rain. Uh, kind of disappointing. It would have been nice if they had gotten a, a few sprinkles as well because it's always good to get rain. It didn't really happen. It's interesting how, how much Hillary stayed right on track and just went right up the center as we said it would between a big area of high pressure to our east and low pressure just off the coast. And again, Ventura, look at the lightning bolts, still that chance and temperatures on the mild side tomorrow. There's your surf. Hillary was a bit of a disappointment, uh, kind of staying really tight to Baja, didn't give it a big uh, swath of swell. It was really tight and a very steep swell at about 165 degree angle, meaning that was coming at us from almost the southeast. And there's your forecast.
forecast. We get rid of Hillary by tomorrow, and then we go back to our routine, as I said at the top of the show, uh, back to what we're famous for, which is a very quiet and sort of a really um, uneventful weather forecast ahead as we go into next week, staying on the mild side for the beaches, AM fog, PM sunshine. Again, tomorrow, Hillary, lingering effects, not expected to do much, but there is still a chance for some light showers, maybe even some thunder. We'll be right back.